Hello everybody and welcome. Today we will be discussing the mystery of Hello Neighbor. I will be explaining the full timeline and what I believe. I think the game starts with Hello Neighbor Hide and Seek, which is taking place in, according to the books, like 1990 something. Um, and so you, as we learn from that, they're very playful, Maya and Aaron Peterson. The Peterson family is neighbors, Theodore Peterson, his wife, Diana Peterson, who dies in the car crash, and Aaron and Maya Peterson. Now, you play the game normally, and then on the third stage, you find out that Diana Peterson, his wife, dies in a car crash. He comes home with only the purse, which we see a lot. We can find You can find it in the original game in a secret room. You can find her purse in secret neighbor, sometimes hidden throughout the house. Two days later, Maya is dies because Aaron, the neighbor and Maya take it as very sad. They start crying a lot and they sad, but Aaron takes it as like he blames himself and he destroys stuff. And he accidentally pushes Maya off the roof when he hides her doll on the roof. So she ends up dying. So she falls off the roof and that's what happens. Then Hello Neighbor 1 takes place. In Hello Neighbor 1, you t uh, act 1. You play as Nikki Roth, and you Aaron, who is best friends with Aaron when he moved in. So when he and when he finds out about when he finds out Aaron's getting locked in the basement, he goes to save him from the basement, which is act which is who you hear screaming in Act One. But despite all of his efforts, he still gets locked in the basement himself. <gasps> so after that, Aaron and Mary are locked in the basement. This is when Secret Neighbor takes place. So we take a break from the Hello Neighbor original game. Then we go straight to Secret Neighbor. We play as Enzo training Mertz and some other friends of Nikki who save Aaron. And then Aaron see, lock picks you out the door. Because as you can see, if you look through the keyhole in Act 2, at the very beginning, you can see a cardboard man that's dead that's supposed to represent Aaron's savior. Which means Aaron Peterson has saved you. You escape and so does Aaron. You know how the neighbor, when he tries to go get you, hears a window smash and they just confused? That is Aaron breaking out. Aaron breaks out by smashing the window and becomes free. Now we take a break and we go, now we go to act three where he grows up and he has some issues from the neighbor and then he has a dream about the neighbor. And then, and then, the, well that's it. That's act three and four are all dream. It never actually happened. So there you go. And then we have Hello, Hello Guest takes place next. Hello guest, the guest is Aaron. You play as Beatrix, which you're supposed to play as, who is supposed to investigate the mountain. And the when you get to the mountain, a weird guy gets you, which I, in my opinion, think is a forest protector. If you've read the Hello Neighbor books, you know what a forest protector is. A forest protector is somebody that protects the forest, and as you're trying to get, you're in a forest of the Golden Apple Amusement Park. The Golden Apple Amusement Park, the reason it's closed down is because a girl died there. Theodore Peterson built it. He is a very popular theme park designer and he built it and it is closed down because somebody died there duh and i think that is a forest protector that is currently inside of the forest when you get kidnapped then hello neighbor 2 happens where the guest Aaron, is getting revenge on his dad for locking him in the basement by locking him in the attic which is where he comes in and the forest protector is trying to get Aaron, and so is the neighbor it looks, and in Hell Neighbor 2, it looks like Quinn is trying to investigate what is happening and trying to save the kids. Aaron and Maya are still missing because he's never told the world about Aaron and Maya, Maya being dead and Aaron being dead. Yes. In Hell Neighbor 2, Quinn will be trying to save people from the basement. We still don't know who, though, but we do know that he is investigating them. He's probably trying to save the three kids that were kidnapped in Hell Neighbor 2, the Alpha. And it looks like the guest and Mr. Peterson will both be involved with it. So we'll see what happens with the Peterson family then. We have still have no sign of Nikki ever after the first game, so maybe we'll be seeing an appearance from him soon. That is the entire Home Neighbor storyline in my belief. I'll see you all next time.